Our teams are relentlessly focused on execution and improving our work practices to reduce costs across our global MRO network. And we are doing this at an unprecedented pace. For example, on the Trent XWB-84, we will have achieved more than a 50% cost reduction over the medium term and will reach that point in half the time of the Trent 700. And across the Trent 1000 family, we're also planning to reduce costs by over 20% in the near term. One key part of this journey is our Practical Best initiative. This is an enabler for PAN network sustainable cost reduction and performance improvement through data, insight and action. It's a great example of how we're harnessing the power of our digital tools and applying a performance mindset on a daily basis. So there are a number of ways we're controlling and improving our shop visit costs. Firstly, through optimising our work scopes for engines inducting into our overhaul shops. Before an engine even comes into the shop for refurbishment, we use all of our in-service operational and maintenance data captured dynamically by our intelligent engine to tightly control and optimise the maintenance work performed. Doing so ensures we only focus on the necessary work, which keeps costs to a minimum. This also means that we can confirm customer requirements up front and ensures sufficient billing. We are continuously improving our work scope control by harnessing our digital capability and we are getting better control over time. This year, we've already achieved a 20% improvement in our Trent 1000 midlife shop visit work scope planning capability. Secondly, we are innovating our work practices around how we disassemble and reassemble engines, with one of our successes being the horizontal build approach as showcased in last year's Investor Day. This method helps with setup investment costs, makes operations more efficient, and gives us wider access to new or current capacity within the MRO network. Also, under the Practical Best initiative, we are establishing a should cost for labour hours through time and motion studies across engine manuals and repairs to establish and share best practices across our network. Another way we're driving shop visit cost reduction is repairing and reusing parts, which extends the life of our parts and reduces waste. There are two aspects to this. Firstly, we can reuse through component limit extensions. As we gather in-service and in-shop inspection data to upgrade our component design model assumptions, we're able to extend component limits, so basically how long we can use that part for. This means that we can reuse those parts instead of replacing them. A great example of this is the low pressure turbine stage one nozzle guide vane on the Trent XWB, where by extending the limit, we've gone from refitting 100% of these parts at first shop visit to just 40%. We are also conducting in-service engine disassembly and layout events at component level to gain even more insights by comparing current original equipment to service run hardware to identify even more limit extension opportunities. Finally, if a part can't be fitted as is, our next best option is to repair. We are constantly challenging our technical understanding in line with the latest technologies to make great progress on new repairs. As an example, a recently validated combustor rear inner case repair has provided a 45% saving compared to replacing with a new part. We're continuing to develop advanced repair technologies like direct laser deposition on turbine seal segments as showcased at last year's Investor Day. We're also investing in new repair capability like our high pressure nozzle guide vane with recent investment made in our joint venture with chrome alloy turbine repair technologies. The HB NGV is one of the highest component scrap costs on our Trent engines. So with this repair capability, we're expecting at least a 10% saving versus replacing with a new part. Of course, if a part can't be repaired, then we fit with new. To do this at the lowest possible cost, we're using enhanced digital capability to identify and assess serviceable used material stock levels that can be reused back into service. Over the past two years, we've increased the quantity of serviceable used materials made available to our overhaul bases by 60%. To supercharge all of these initiatives even further, 
we have recently launched our digital cost ecosystem to truly harness one of the greatest assets we have, a data lake of all the cost information that we own. This will give us even more insights into further cost reduction opportunities and enable us to maximise our efforts on driving action to reduce shop visit cost. Suffice to say, we are still in the foothills of what we believe can be achieved. As our engines continue along their maturity curve, we know we can secure a lot more cost reduction at pace. Through our ongoing optimization activities, innovative repair and reuse approaches, combined with our cost ecosystem, we will continue to innovate and establish the best practices that can secure even more sustainable improvements for years to come.